Hello. Want to join a big protest or march, but not sure what to bring? Or worried about the legalities? Well, when it comes to protesting, we definitely know our stuff. So let us share our four top tips for staying safe at a protest while making a difference. Tip one, stay calm and peaceful. Sounds obvious, right? Mm -hmm. But if you've ever been to a big gathering before, you know that things can change very quickly. Like a march might suddenly go in an unexpected direction or lots of police arrive and no one knows why. You might listen to a really good speech and feel upset or angry about how bad the situation has become. Whatever happens, you can keep yourself and the people around you safe by staying level-headed. If at any point you feel angry at someone or anxious because you're not sure what's going on, stop for a second and take a deep breath. Talk to friends about what's upsetting you. We're here to take a stance and our message will be more convincing if we stay calm and non-violent at all times. Tip two, pack your bag wisely. All right, when you pack your bag for a protest, there are a couple of things that you should definitely leave at home. Let's go through them together. No knives. No alcohol or drugs. No chalk or paint. And no glue. All of these things could get you into trouble if the police decide to search you. Generally speaking, don't bring anything valuable. Stuff easily gets lost at protests. Tip three, be prepared for the worst. Now let's be clear, this is a democracy. Protesting is our basic human right. You should never be arrested for standing on a pavement and waving your flag, full stop. Unfortunately, we know things are not always so easy in practice. The police have been known to arrest people for no good reason, especially people of colour. This should be unlikely to happen, but better safe than sorry, right? If you don't want to get arrested, it helps to avoid any confrontation with the police. If they ask you to move, move. And remember, anything you say to the police can be used as evidence against you and others. So whenever a police officer asks you a question, keep in mind that you're not legally required to answer it. You can literally say... No comment. And that's the end of that conversation. If you end up accidentally getting arrested, and remember the chances are low, so that's a massive if, stay cool. Remember what we told you about deep breathing earlier? Yeah, do some of that. You should tell a police officer that you want to talk to a lawyer. There are dedicated protest lawyers who respond to calls from police stations 24-7. They will be by your side as soon as they can. Their phone numbers are on these little cards called bust cards that are handed out at protests. There is a lot more information that we could share with you about the ins and outs of the law and police powers. We recommend you check out the links in the description of this video. And finally, tip four, ask for help. At protests, there are normally volunteers in high-vis vests or with sashes whose job it is to help you out if you're not sure what to do. There are stewards who can tell you about the direction of a march and you could talk to the wellbeing crew if you're feeling overwhelmed or if someone is experiencing medical problems. They should also be able to give you a bust card. But to be honest, if you feel like something's going wrong, you can pretty much talk to anyone. Our protests are friendly places. We're all here for each other, and you'll probably meet some amazing people on your way. So, see you at the next one. one.